There's so many troubled areas of our world. The stress and strain of the season itself is difficult, let alone the struggles that we're all feeling in our hearts and minds as we go through a little turmoil here on Earth. But if we take just a moment and again, look at all of the candles, the hope, the love, the joy, and peace, and we bring that all to God, we can rest it there for a while in order to be ready for the Christ that is coming on Christmas morning. We are looking for our King to bring us into the redemptive world of a new kingdom, a new understanding, and a new peace, a peace for all, all of us creatures living in the world today. So I open these devotions by lighting the candles. I light the first candle of hope, second candle of love, the third candle of joy, the final candle of peace. And I sing that beloved song and the fifth verse. O come, O come, O key of David, come and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe for us the heavenward road and bar the way to death's abode. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. In lighting these candles, we are lighting not just the fire, but we're lighting also our souls, where Christ dwells in us, and we in him. And the scripture for this Advent Sunday is from Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation, and he has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, And as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all nations. For for Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her vindication shines out like the dawn and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name. And that mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us say together what the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and merciful Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.